Okay, today we're going to be making steak and gravy, country steak and gravy. I'm using cube steak today because I couldn't find what I'd rather have is the uh, round steak. But uh, cube steak was all, which is okay too. But round steak is just a little better cut of meat. First I'm going to salt and pepper the pieces of meat. And you're going to do this on both sides. Okay, we're using all-purpose flour to dredge our meat in. We're going to put it in here, just enough to cover it, and I'm going to put oil in the skillet to brown the meat, just enough to cover your skillet to be able to brown. You want to cover it good because the flour is going to make the gravy after you've browned it. Okay, now that we've got that covered good, we'll wait and let the oil heat up just a little bit. Okay, now the oil is heated a little and I'm going to put the steak in there to brown. Of course, we'll be doing a couple of skillets of the steak. And as you can see, I've put water in another pan so as I brown my steak, I can put the steak in there and that's what's going to cook and make the steak and, and the gravy. You want to cook it until it's golden brown, then turn it over and cook it on the other side the same way. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over. As you can see, the steak is brown on that side. And I'll turn it over so it'll brown on the other side. Okay, now that the steak is browned on both sides, I've already prepared, prepared my water and I'm going to put the steak in it and turn the burner on. The steak does not have to be done through and through because you'll cook it as you're simmering it in the water. Okay, now we're going to brown the rest of the steak. Okay, now both, all the steak is browned on both sides. I'm putting it into the water that I've already got heating over there. Okay, and now I'm going to take this oil and I'm going to strain the oil and I'm going to put it back in the skillet and put just a little bit of water in there to get the brown pieces of flour out of here. Okay, 
and then I'm going to pour it in there and that will too will help make the gravy. Okay, and now that I've got that going, I'm going to take this and put it back on the bigger burner. And it's already boiling, as you can see, so turn your burner down to where it's just going to simmer. And you leave that on for, oh, maybe a couple of hours. And when it's done, it will have made its own gravy and be ready to eat. Now I'm going to stir this just a little bit and I'll come back from time to time just to stir it to make sure it's not sticking and the, gra the gravy is thickening like it should. So I'm going to cover it now. And it should be done in a couple hours. Okay, I'm going to check on the steak and gravy and see how it's doing. As you can see, it's the gravy is thickening. So we'll continue to let it simmer. Okay, I'm going to check the steak and gravy to see how it's coming along. And as you can see, the gravy has thickened and the meat is tender. So that part of it is done. And I'm going to fix some rice. Because David likes a minute rice, that's what we're doing today. I put about a cup of water on to boil. And as soon as it boils, I'll put the rice in. Bring that back to a boil. And it's ready. Give it five minutes to sit. Also cooking some broccoli. Put it in some boiling salted water and add your broccoli. And it's almost done. Now it's time for dinner.